Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Mike here. Uh, today guys, I want to show you something really good. Uh, how to get Mac OS X uh, 10.4 on a uh, iMac PowerPC G3, G4, G5, whatever. Now, this is a long video and this is going to take a lot. This video is going to be divided up into parts. So first of all, what, uh, I'm not going to get into detail, but what you need is a Mac. Uh, the best way to go is probably a Mac running uh, Mac OS X Leopard. And of course your iMac G3, which or G4, G5, which I don't have here. It's up in my room, so I'm going to divide the video up into parts. Alright, so what you're going to do first is you're going to go to the piratebay.com and you're going to download this torrent. So you're going to go to the piratebay.org slash torrent and this exactly. Go ahead and pause the video. I'll stop for a second. Okay, pause the video because I'm too lazy to put download links. Now what you're going to do is you have, uh, once you get there, don't click any of this other download crap. Just click one of these two. They're both the same thing. Download this torrent. And once that's done, you're going to let it download. This takes a couple of hours, guys. you got to be really, really patient. Okay, so uh, go ahead and, because um, it is a torrent, so go ahead and use it with whatever uh, torrent uh, program you have. In my case, I use Transmission. So uh, Transmission, you torrent, whatever you want. I used uh, Transmission. Now, after that's done for a couple of hours, you're done with the waiting. Well, not completely. Uh, after that is done, you're going to go ahead and uh, pop in a blank DVD, uh, minus R or plus R. I'm using plus R in my case again. And uh, so, go ahead and put that into your Mac. And then from there, uh, you're going to have like an option. I already did all this. You're going to have an option that says um, open with. You're going to open it with a program called Disk Utility. Now, if you can't for some reason open with, you're going to go to Finder. Go to Applications scroll down for utilities and there it is disk utility now once you're in disk utility you're going to go ahead and open it up and uh... your this should be your final dmg after the uh... after transmission is done which by the way you could download transmission from googling it after transmission is done and has the uh... dmg file finished uh, it should say mac os x install dvd dot toast like you know the food toast with butter uh, you're going to delete uh, Toast and replace it with ISO. So it should now become this, Mac OS X install DVD dot ISO. Once you have that, you're going to make sure you know uses ISO. You're going to drag that right here. And when you drag it there, uh, it'll appear up on the side. So there it is. Okay, uh, once it's in, uh, you're going to select it and then click Burn up here. Now, if you're wondering what that really crappy loud noise is, it's the CD in my drive. So right now it's burning. Now once it's done burning, we're going to go ahead and inject the disk and upstairs we're going to try it out and see if it works. So I will come back. Okay, so the burn is finished up so we can go ahead and now uh, close out a disk utility. Uh, the burn should take about 10 minutes, easy. So uh, it should uh, go ahead and appear up on your desktop, Mac OS X install DVD. Go ahead and tap that open. Uh, you've got everything in here and as you can tell uh, you hear that uh, the, th the motor has stopped running. So uh, you should have these things here. Okay. You should have all this stuff good and ready to go. So go ahead now and eject the disk. Now this you don't have to worry about, but keep it on your desktop just in case. And out comes our brand new disk. And if you did it right, you should see that there is a... Uh, I know you can't see it well, there's not very good lighting in here. But you should see that there's a ring around the disk now. That means... Uh, that about two gigabytes, half of it was stored uh, when this 4.7 gigs on this disk. So let's go upstairs now and try it in the Mac. All right, so we're up here now. We have the Mac. I pulled out the old keyboard because this this keyboard and mouse never give me luck. I put in the one from downstairs. Okay, now here is our brand new disk of that has Mac OS X ready to go. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to do this very quickly. Now pay attention to this process. Go ahead and stick it in halfway into the drive. Now, I'm going to have to take my iPad smart cover here so I can sit down my camera. Give me a minute here. Fold up this cover. Okay. Ah, crap, here go the magnets. Oh, come on, magnets. Okay. There we go. Okay, so here's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to boot up. We're going to try this two different ways because if the first way doesn't work. All right, so we're going to boot it up. We're going to hold down the C key. Keep 
keep looking at the screen here. Okay, we can let go of the C key now. Get the Apple logo. Get the loading screen. Now keep in mind, uh, we're installing Mac OS X Tiger 10.4. This specific iMac cannot go any higher than that. So it may take a little while to boot up. Have my paper clip in case I need to eject anything. Go ahead and sit down the camera because this iPad is getting heavy. Keep in mind, okay, you know what? Uh, when it finishes loading, I'll come back because this usually takes a while. Okay, here we go. So now we have uh, my languages here. We're going to go ahead and select English. Here we go. Welcome to Mac OS X Installer. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do Utilities, Startup Disk Reset Password, Disk Utility. Alright, so we're good here, I think. Okay. Continue. Continue. I agree. My Chrome is iMac. Woo! Oh, I have to edit it. I'm empty my, uh... You know what, actually? Alright, I'll come right back. Give me a minute here. Alright, sorry there. I was stuck for a minute. So, uh, check in your installation DVD. So, this is going to take a while. I'll come back, guys. Alright, so guys, we have, uh, the installation DVD checking thing. Uh, pretty much now 100% complete. Preparing for installation. Now, this is the final installation of installed Mac OS X. From here, there's no turning back. Uh, now, this could take a very long time, sometimes six to seven hours. No, I'm kidding. It'll probably just take an hour or two. Uh, it's going to do a lot of weird sounds and verify a lot of stuff. and It's going to take a pretty long time. Not six to seven hours, probably just, the, you know, one, two, maybe three hours. So, I mean, it's moving along fast now, but there's so many different steps. So, I'll come back in a little while uh, with, of course, you know, the introduction. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> with, well, yeah, here you go. Installing base system part one. Sure, six minutes. No problem. But what if there's 600 parts? You know, then that's, you multiply it. So, I will come back with the Mac OS X, you know, the Tiger intro, the video, the thing I love. Um, starting up for the first time, naming everything, so I will video that. Alright, guys, but I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so the installation finished. The only bad thing is, once the installation finished, I started playing with the wire over there, plugged into the power strip, and uh, it went off. So I just really hope nothing happened. But uh, we've got the little loading pinwheel, so I guess that's a good sign. That wasn't there in the beginning. boot up was pretty long, but uh, when I booted it up, it said starting Mac OS X. So, like, pretty much is, like, on 99% of the finished installation, and I accidentally jiggled the wire, and, uh... uh... Actually, I said previously that it would take, like, two hours to finish. This was quick. This was only, like, ten minutes. Uh, the installation. It was quick. That may have been because, though, I did, uh, deselected a bunch of packages. There we go. Took me one a year and a half to do this. <laughs> 